What's up, guys? Jay, more than ever, kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And today, we're gonna be going to the Red Sands of Mars for the last and final Golden Chest location guide. But before we get started, I want to mention that these chests are one time use only and are not farmable. But you can get them on all your different characters while leveling up because that's probably the best use of these chests. But if you're already leveled, that's not really a big deal because it's still fun to search out the boxes anyway. You just won't be finding anything other than the strange coin useful. The rest of it, you can just go ahead and dismantle. Get yourself some sapphire wire. <laughs> so, the first three chests on Mars, we're going to go into the free roam patrol mode since they're all in a relatively close proximity to each other. So, first off, in the spawn, you'll notice... That all you gotta do is just shoot over to this little pavilion right over here and sitting out on top of the crates. It's box number one. It's not really well hidden, but the next boxes are very well hidden. So what we're gonna do is instead of going right off the spawn, we're just gonna go straight off the spawn into this tunnel at the bottom of the dooms. And halfway through the tunnel, you'll notice that there's a big enough crack for you to jump up into. And there's going to be golden chest number two. And goddamn, Bungie, that's a, that's a hell of a spot. Be putting a little bit of box. <laughs> I got to reach around the crack. Get that box. <laughs> so the third box is just straight ahead from that tunnel. You see that big ass building right there? That's called the Dust Palace. Now, once you enter the Dust Palace, you just go ahead and head straight through, and it'll end up taking you down a wrecked elevator shaft and into an office building. And as soon as you come into the office building area, you'll see this office right here to the left, marked off with a number three. And right behind the desk is the golden chest. That one's actually pretty easy to find. <laughs> so the next one is very deep into the level and it's so deep that it actually takes just as long to get there in free room as it does if you're gonna do the mission so your best bet here is to just select the garden spire mission and it'll take you directly to the room that you want to be which uh apparently the room you want to be in is sealed with blast doors and some of the shittiest enemies in the game <laughs> i'm not even lying <laughs> There's like these giant colossuses with goddamn miniguns and rocket launchers and they're just they're just gonna fuck you up. <laughs> it, it's 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 a bad time for everybody involved. But after you clear out this room, you'll wanna come to the left of the blast doors, jump up the pipe, jump across your way over the ledges, and grab the fourth box. It's a lot of pipe. A little bit of box. You get where I'm going here? <laughs> so, the last chest is actually going to be inside a freehold train station. Now, this is a pain in the ass to get here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So, what I'm going to do is just show you where it is inside of the train station for those of you guys that know the area pretty well. And for those of you guys that don't, at the end of the video, I will let it play out and show you how to get exactly there from the free road spawn on your sparrow. Don't worry, guys. I wasn't going to leave you hanging. You think I'm actually going to make a guide and not show you where the boxes are. I'd like to make my guides a little bit more thorough than uh, the next person. <laughs> so what you want to do is when you're inside the train station, there's going to be an area where it's a subway. There's going to be trains lined up along the track. And in the back corner of the tracks... You will see a circular Vex teleportation gate. That's where the Vex come through, like, space and time. That's how they get there to fuck you up. The Vex come hard. They come real hard. <laughs> so what you're going to do is head towards the gate in the room behind there. And there's going to be a fenced-in cage. And uh, behind this cage, actually very well hidden, is going to be the last and final golden box so, so that's it that's that's the last golden box not only on mars but inside of destiny as of making this video right now september 12th 
2014. That's every single golden box inside the game. Now, it's possible that they might add more regions into the game later on in the future with the expansion packs. And with them, I would probably guess that there will be more golden boxes in the future, which is a little bit of fun for me because I like to search out things inside the game that are hidden. So I'm an Easter egg hunter. That's what I like to do. So my name is Jay, more than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. For those of you guys that don't know how to get to the train station, right after my intro, I will put the uh, footage of the sparrow going from the spawn all the way to Freehold Station. Because I, I love you guys. This is the type of thing I do for you. But I'm not... I'm not going to sit here and commentate the entire thing when you can just watch it. <laughs> so, my name's Jay. Where did I have to kill? Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you guys later. Let's move. Keep an eye out for beacons.